We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here to talk to you again today about Skywarn Plus and All Star Link version 3. Now, as you know, I've already released a video on how to install Skywarn Plus on ASL3, but there was some uh, permission issues that I didn't consider, and so the creator of Skywarn Plus, Mason Nelson, has altered the installation process for ASL3 so that it will work properly. The only thing for now that we will lose on ASL3 is in Supermon. You see this volcano warning right here? That's the test inject that I have in Skywarn Plus right at the moment just for the purposes of this video. But when the alerts are issued, this will show up in red lettering, not volcano warning, whatever warning it is, will show up in red lettering in your Supermon dashboard. But the way this upgrades, it may not display again until there's some kind of permission issue workaround. And I believe Mason's communicating with the ASL team about different things for Skywarn Plus. So we can go to Mason's GitHub page for Skywarn Plus. It's at github.com slash mason10198 slash Skywarn Plus. And I like to hit Command F and go to ASL3 and it will talk about the Supermont integration and explain what I was trying to explain. So let's go back up to the installation process and we can go boom right there. So now there is a file that you can download here with a bash command if you run it as root and this should take care of everything. So let's just hit these two little squares here and copy it. Go back to our terminal. Go back to our terminal, type in sudo, and paste in that long command line. And we'll hit enter. This script is designed to automate the installation of Skywarn Plus. Author, Mason Nelson. Note, this script is an installer only and will not automate configuration. Please edit the config.yaml file manually after installation. Would you like to continue? Yes. It is ASL3 that is detected. Is this correct? Yes. Installing the dependencies. Okay. Existing Skywarn Plus installation detected. This installer script was intended for new installations. Would you like to run update swp.py instead? I don't want to do that because this is an older version of Skywarn Plus. So, I want to hit no. Continue with a fresh install after making a backup of Skywarn Plus 726-2024. You can grab your old config file, your config.yaml file from the backup. I'm going to hit N for no. So it'll make that backup and download the new software and start configuring its permissions. You can see there it was checking for the old style cron tab. No old style cron tab in there because I took it out. Uh, checking for existing cron tab entry for, for the asterisk var update, which it wasn't in there anyway. So now it says a, uh, an existing cron tab entry for Skywarn Plus was found with a one minute interval. By default, the existing cron tab entry will be kept. To keep the existing interval, press enter, which I, I do. I want to keep mine at one minute because that's my preference. To change the interval, enter a different number of minutes. To disable the cron tab entry and require manual execution, enter zero. Keep existing interval one. I'm just going to press enter. Cron tab entry already exists. Skipping. Installation and configuration complete. Please edit the config.yaml file as per your needs. Would you like to edit the config.yaml file now? I'm just going to hit yes. And we'll run through this very quickly. We'll save that real quick and we're going to go back into it. So let's type in sudo nano user local bin skywarn plus config.yaml. We'll just leave those three inject alerts there and we'll change inject to true. Control X, yes to save, enter to exit. And we'll see if our injects kick off. Updated local information. 
Tornado warning. Severe thunderstorm warning. Tornado watch. Okay, so it fired off. So now that we have installed the new Skywarn Plus for ASL3, it has done all the cron tab entries for me. And I've configured my config.yaml file. And I want to make one change. So let's go. Let's go sudo nano config.yaml. And I like to throw a little humor into my uh, everything, my uh, configurations. I comment out the tornado watch and severe thunderstorm warning, and I change tornado warning to a volcano warning. And we're going to come up here. So if anybody hears the RF, they don't freak out because there's no volcanoes in Oklahoma that are active or any period that I'm aware of. So nonetheless, we'll change that to true. Hit control X. Yes to save. Enter to exit. And we'll wait to hear from, we'll wait to hear from Skywarn Plus. Updated local information. Volcano warning. Oh my goodness, it's a volcano warning. Okay, Skywarn Plus works. And as suspected, if you have Supermon installed on your ASL3 node, the red lettering alert does go away. So I got in there and changed it to something more useful. <laughs> Skywarn Plus will work perfectly now in ASL3 with these proper permissions. So let's get back into config.yaml, run down to the bottom, and we'll turn off our test injects. Now before we do, I want to make sure that my courtesy tones changed. And they did. I have it set for my courtesy tones to change when alerts are issued. So you hear those courtesy tones. It kind of like a verbal, it's like an audible cue to let your brain know, hey, there's an alert active. So let's wait for our alert to clear. The National Weather Service has cleared all alerts for this area. And it has cleared. Skywarn Plus on ASL3, July 26, 2024 is updated and working just fine. <laughs> this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours. And ham on, y'all.